Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today is all about decorating. I am going to be adding some beautiful blue to my decor. I'm going to be decorating the kitchen and the family room and this mantle here. And I am going to be using lots of that pretty blue. I am just really loving it lately and I wanted to add more of that into my decor. So today's video is all about decorating and I'm going to have so much fun sharing my ideas with you. The last decorating video that I shared with you guys, I really did have a lot of fun putting this together. I had some bold colors in this video. I used strawberries for summer and I had a really bold printed floral window treatment in my kitchen and I absolutely loved it for a minute, but I am becoming more of a neutral girl and I can't have too much of that dark color. I had lots of red and then just really bright colors. I'm going to show you here in just a second what my kitchen looks like. Even though I loved it, it was just a bit much for me. So today it's all coming down and I'm going to be adding some soothing blue and more of those creams and whites and neutral tones. If you are new here, I want to say thank you for stopping by and watching today's video. If you haven't yet subscribed, click that red subscribe button. It is 100% free and make sure that you hit that little notification bell so you know when I upload a brand new video so you don't miss out on anything. You're also going to want to follow me over on my Instagram and I will leave all that information in my description box. I will also leave it up here on the screen. So now that I have most of the decor put away that I didn't want to use, I am just going to take a step back, kind of look at everything, and then I'm going to go through some of my decorating bins where I have like my pillow covers and stuff like that, and I'm going to see if I can find some of my blue um, pieces. So I'm going to pull those out in just a second, but I really love to take a step back and just really look around my house. And sometimes that gives me a little bit of an idea what I'm working with. So I pulled out all of my blue stuff or blue and white things decor related. And this is a valance and I'm going to put this in my kitchen. I've had this in my kitchen before, so I'm going to use this and uh, I don't know, I found this, I thought it was really pretty. And I thought maybe I can put this somewhere. I don't know yet. I was thinking right up there. Let me see if the camera focuses. I was thinking of putting it right here. Um, not sure yet. I might add a wreath up there. I just don't know. So I also have these blue striped pillowcases, some more toile. These are pillowcases as well. Um, and then this is just something I had in my old house. It was a skirt for a sink that I had. I might do something with this, but I really love that pattern. Isn't that just so beautiful? And then this is a tablecloth. I love that it has a little bit of that beige in there. Um, I don't know. I just thought I would bring everything out and really take a look at everything and just kind of go with it. And then this is what I found at Kirkland's the other day. I thought this print was really pretty. I love the white flowers and that blue vase. And I thought it would look really good right here. So, again, I'm just showing you everything that I have that I found that was blue. And I'm just going to kind of subtly add things in and see where I want to place everything. I feel like this pattern is very classic with the French country decor style and I love it. It is called Toile and 
I just really, really love it. I have a lot of black and white. I have some green and cream color. I have um, this blue and white. I have a red and white. I think I have a bunch of different colors, but the summertime and even the spring, I really love to bring out that blue. And I did purchase that valance on Amazon and I will leave it linked in my description box. Before I add this little print to the back of my backsplash here, I wanna make sure it's good and clean because this is right by my stove top and stuff can kind of spatter everywhere and all that fun stuff. So I'm just taking some Windex and just cleaning that tile off really well. And then I'm going to be using command hooks. I love using command hooks for stuff like this. So um, I'm going to add, I think I added a few to the back. I want to say four. I added um, them to the sides and the top corners. And then I went ahead and removed that hook in the center because it kind of stuck out and I didn't want that to prevent my command hooks from sticking really well to the tile. Some of you already know that I recently had a surgery and I really do have to be careful and slow my pace down just a little bit. And one of the ways that I have been enjoying doing that is sitting on the couch or finding a relaxing spot and playing this new game called June's Journey on my phone. Before you get started, you're going to want to click the link in my description box and download the app. In June's Journey, there are two main types of gameplay. The hidden object scenes where you can search for items in the picture and June's estate on Orchid Island where you can build, decorate, and expand as you progress through the story. Finding the hidden objects in the scenes are definitely my favorite. I love working my brain. Every scene is a picture and in that picture are lots of things to find. At the bottom of the screen is a list of items you must find to complete the scene. When you spot an item from the list, simply tap or click on it to find it. When there are no more items on the list to find, you win. The faster you find the objects, the higher your score will be. You can also head on over to June's estate on Orchid Island. Orchid Island is June's family home. You must upgrade, expand, restore, and decorate it with decorations and buildings. By doing so, you can earn flowers to unlock chapters in the game. You can also customize the island to your own taste. This game is so much fun. Download June's Journey for free by clicking on the link located in my description box. June's Journey is available on Android, iOS mobile devices, as well as on PC through Facebook games. Now that I had a few minutes to sit back and relax, I am ready to start decorating again. And I did decide to go with the wreath back up on my wall. It's like a little space between my cabinets above my stove. And I love putting a wreath there. I was going to put that little angel applique piece, but I decided to go with the wreath. I wanted to add some florals somewhere in the kitchen, and I thought the wreath would be the best thing to do. So I just used the same one. I just took out the red, those strawberries in there. I didn't want the red, and I added a little bit of that blue flower just to give it that little blue to kind of distribute that color here in the kitchen. And over in my hutch, I keep this planter. I think I started around Christmas time. I had this decorated with some really pretty burgundy and I have just really loved it. So 
throughout the seasons I'm just switching out the florals in here I had some yellow and blue and I'm gonna take the yellow and the blue out and just go with the cream and a little bit of that greenery few of these floral stems that I did pull out I was gonna put them in the wreath but I decided not to and I did end up just kind of bunching them all up together and placing them in a milk glass vase in my hutch as well With my last video, I had a really colorful bowl, and since I was taking all of that bold color out of my kitchen, I wanted to replace this with something vintage looking, and I'm not gonna use this while I'm using the mixer, but I just wanted to add a little bit of color. It's not as boring as that silver bowl that it comes with, and it just adds a little more character. I am really loving the blue. There is something so soothing about that color. My favorite piece in this kitchen right now that I recently added is definitely that little rose print that I have above my stove. Now I'm gonna head on into the family room and just add a few more pieces, switch things out and see how we can kind of add that blue in here as well. It's really been a while since I've switched this out because I have loved this print so much but my aunt recently gave me this other print, which is floral as well. And I loved the white frame and I really loved that this had some blue flowers in here. So it went perfect over here on my mantle. Before I start with the decorating over here, I really want to make sure that I get this all nice and dusted. I'm just using some all-purpose cleaner and then just wiping it down with a rag really quickly. Okay, so the more I look at this girl, I feel like she looks kind of creepy. So I thought I would paint her white. I thought maybe with all the darkness around her eyes, it's kind of making her look a little strange. So let's just go ahead and give her a really good coat of peachy cream white paint. So I'm not about to run out and buy anything brand new. So I found some white paint in my garage and I also found this gold metallic color. I think I might kind of do a little bit of the 
distressing with the gold and let's just see how this all turns out. Okay, so I'm done painting her white. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of gold and I hope this turns out right. I'm just gonna brush a little bit of the gold on and then quickly wipe it away with a paper towel or a napkin. She definitely looks so much better than before and I'm just going to add a couple more pieces of decor. I'm adding a mirror just opposite of her. I wanted to pull a little bit of a darker color in there. This is a wooden mirror I purchased at I believe it was an antique store a few years ago. The bust I have got asked about because I have shared it in other decorating videos and I did find her at Home Goods probably four years ago. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of greenery with a bird and just kind of see what I wanna do over here. I do change my mind a little bit, but um, for the most part, I kept it pretty simple. I originally had my diffuser sitting up on my mantle, but it just did not look right with everything that I had up there. So I moved it off to the side and I'm going to be diffusing the scents Vanilla and Magnolia together. And these smell so good together. Made my whole house smell amazing. And I will link my diffuser in my description box because I do get asked about it a lot.
Adding a little more blue over here to my sofa, I decided to go with that stripe pillow cover. It is classic and beautiful and it just worked out perfectly. I had all that print going on in the kitchen and I just really wanted to do something a little different over here. I almost used the twall pillow covers, but I decided to go with this stripe and I really love how it looks over here. I wanted to add a different shade of blue, so I grabbed these from upstairs in the master bedroom and just placed one right here in the corner. And then I have this chair sitting over by the mantel and I, it's a project and I'm probably gonna have to have it professionally reupholstered because I don't know what I'm doing. So that's why I have a blanket kind of draped over it but these little pillows look so pretty and I thought one would look perfect over here on the sofa and the other one would look great just opposite of the sofa on the chair. That is it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed. I hope it gave you lots of decorating ideas. And don't forget to click the link in my description box to download June's journey today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click that thumbs up, leave a comment, say hi, and I hope you guys all have an amazing day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.